Under eye bags are no joke and can be super difficult to treat. And you know that I personally believe that eye creams are overpriced moisturizers, which is why I do not like a lot of them. But when it comes to puffy under eyes, there can be many different reasons that they happen and certain things that you can do beyond eye creams that can actually tighten and lift the eye area. Specifically things like radio frequency, which are used in medical clinics and medical offices that can be done at home. And I want to specifically share with you what I've been doing for my puffy under eyes for yes, when I'm crying, but also when I have allergies and don't get enough sleep and also just the anatomy of my eyes. And in order to speak about some of these advanced treatments like radio frequency and LED and some of this electrical, basically muscle stimulation, we need to talk about the anatomy of the eye because I think a lot of people get this wrong. <laughs> you see, a lot of people try to put on a cream and think that it'll help with some of these really baggy under eyes or some of the fine lines and wrinkles that cause crow's feet. But let's look at the actual anatomy of the eye because it's fascinating. First off, here's the skull and you have these orbital sockets that boom, your eyeballs are shoved in. Well, on top of the bone, there are these muscles that surround the eye. They're called the orbicularis oculi, and they're really unique muscles because they're completely circular. And what's really unique about the muscles of the face in general are, think about how many facial expressions we can make. All of those are done thanks to muscles, right? So the muscle is underneath and the skin sits on top. Most muscles around the body insert on fascia, but the muscles of the face actually go directly from the skull to the skin, which doesn't happen a lot of other places in the body, fun fact. But these muscles around the eyes and around the face do connect to the hypodermis, which is underneath the dermis, and to our skin. Well, these muscles around the eye are circular, and even the corrugator supercilii and the muscles up here in the glabellar complex, they can be a little bit more traditional, but it's because of these facial muscles that our face is able to animate and emote. And that's why our skin, which is kind of on top of everything, can end up having wrinkles. Over time, if we're constantly moving our face, our skin can kind of get used to or get folded in those certain areas. And think of your skin as like a piece of paper. If you fold it and unfold it, fold it and unfold it, you can try to smooth out that crease all you want, but it's going to be there. So what are you supposed to do about it? Again, you can use eye creams or certain things topically or even moisturizers, etc. but a lot of those just focus on the epidermis, the outer layers of the skin. Now, when you look at your skin, there's the epidermis, which is those five top layers, then there's the bottom too, the dermis. And this is where the collagen and the elastin and the structure of your skin really is. And in medical treatments or in clinic, that's what we're trying to stimulate. And that's where we're trying to get basically new collagen, new elastin, new skin growth. And that comes from recruiting fibroblasts, these special skin cells to the area that create these basically growth factors and start to help this remodeling process deep within the skin. Well, there are certain therapies that are done around the eyes professionally, and that can include things like radio frequency. Well, I have been struggling <laughs> with my under eye area for quite some time now, and I've decided to do some of these at home. But in addition to muscle and to skin that can wrinkle, there's also fat pads underneath our eyes, which are very important to talk about. And a lot of people, they look in the mirror and they have like this light that comes down from the top. So those bags look even bigger than they actually are. And they're like, oh my gosh, I have these gigantic under eye bags. Am I not sleeping enough? What's going on? But for some people, it's not fluid retention or it's not about sleep. There's actually a little septum under the eye here. And those fat pads can herniate. They can basically push themselves out. And sometimes the only way to get rid of that is through blepharoplasty or surgery. Now, if you don't want surgery, but you're also sick and tired of the eye creams, what options do you have? That's when we can talk about skincare tools because this is what I've personally been using. And I wanna show you some of my before and afters for depuffing my eyes. And again, this is why it's so important to know the cause of your under eye puffiness. Is it allergies and is it bad sleep? Because you can temporarily, you know, treat the under eye area to get rid of the fluid, but then you wanna take care of the allergies so that you don't keep getting those, right? Or is it that you have a herniated fat pad that you need to do something about? Or do you have a lot of fluid retention in this area all the time that you need to constantly push out and drain. And sometimes in addition to the puffiness, people can deal with dark under eye bags or dark circles. This can come from pigmentation. This can come from sun exposure. This can even just come from thin skin. You know, when the skin in this area is so thin, we can actually see the blood vessels and the little veins in there much more easily. And sometimes those can have like a purplish appearance. Again, some of the best things you can do are going under the knife. Again, getting literal eye surgery or getting these fat pads adjusted. You can get fillers. You can even get laser. But what if you don't want to do that and you want to do something at home. That is where I'm at. And again, my under eye bags personally have come from a multitude of things. Number one, it's just part of my eye anatomy and my eye structure. I have a little bit more of a bag than most people. I don't suffer with as much purpleness or pigmentation as other people do. And I do have like some crow's feet and fine lines and wrinkles when I smile. And I am using certain things to help, you know, prevent them from getting worse, but they aren't super deep set. So for me, it's light on the wrinkles, not much on the pigmentation, but big on the puffiness. Again, I've spoken about this a couple times 
before and I really don't want to talk about it, but I have had one of the most difficult years of my life. And um, it's been extremely painful and um, it is what it is. And I cry all the time. And I have been searching for not just under eye depuffing options, but literally full face depuffing options. And I have tried everything. I have tried creams that tighten the skin. I have tried cryo face masks that you like wrap around the skin, under eye patches, and yes, at home tools and devices. And this is what I want to share when it comes to radio frequency, because this is the Amaro R3 and it's basically like three in one. It's radio frequency that actually heats up the skin on the inside to help remodel it. It has light therapy, which can decrease inflammation and boost collagen. And it's also got electrical muscle stimulation. So literally stimulating some of those muscles in the face and yes, around the eye. And this is fantastic for lifting, but don't just take it from like the website or the before and after photos. When I do this on my face, I notice visible results as I'm doing it. And that's why I want to talk about how to use radio frequency at home for puff under eyes. And that's the thing is like when I cry, oh my God, I have had days where I've spent 10 hours in bed and only one hour sleeping. I cry all the time and I recognize that it's part of my new normal. Okay. And like, maybe I'll get over this. Maybe I never will, but I'm, I'm trying to deal. Right. But I'm going to let myself have that moment. And then I need to get back up into the real world and like, look okay and function. And that's the hardest part because I'm like, I don't want people necessarily to know or to ask questions about like what's going on and like, why is your entire face swollen? And that's why I'm looking for these quick and effective fixes that work to depuff my face after a crying session so I can get on with my day, but that also work long-term for some of those things like the fine lines and wrinkles. And when it comes to radio frequency, this is from Amaro. It is purple and I am matching, but the purple isn't the reason that I love it. Although I do love that it's freaking purple. This actually is a radio frequency tool that has an under eye setting. This has an under eye setting. It has like an emergency face setting. And then it has a V line setting for literally the jaw. Now for me, my jaw is not a main area of concern, but I definitely have used this quite a few times and really appreciated it when I do have puffiness and fluid kind of in my cheeks that does kind of make its way down to my jaw. I see anesthetics when we're doing lymphatic drainage, it's a very light touch facial massage, but we're basically massaging the fluid, the lymph fluid from the skin and kind of down the neck and into the armpits where it can be like reabsorbed by the body because this is kind of the head after reabsorbed by the body. But this helps with the radio frequency heat with the LED light and also with the electric literal muscle stimulation to move that fluid out even faster from the jawline area. And Amaro does have like these kind of face masks. They have eye ones, they have face ones. This actually comes as part of a purple holiday kit, which I am obsessed with. I'm still kind of testing everything out from the kit, but they have these face masks that basically are just for your jaw. And holy crap, I've been putting those in the fridge. They are amazing. But but this is basically a little tool that can help to depuff either the jawline area or yes, the under eye area. And let me show you my before and afters because when I am in a pinch, when I am crying, when I am puffy, when I didn't get enough sleep, this does wonders in just about five minutes. Now you can use it for 10, you can use it for more. Um, they do have different settings. Again, my favorite is personally the under eye one. And something you'll notice that's really unique is that when I'm doing this, I'm not going from the inside of the eye out. I'm actually going from the outside of the eye in. And the reason for this is very unique. I actually learned this from the founder of Lanshin named Sandra. She has studied gua sha for years and um, she specifically has some of these under eye depuffing techniques that work with gua sha as well as other skincare tools. So I'm basically taking her gua sha principles, but putting them with a very advanced skincare technology device. And here's the thing. When you go from the outside in, you're actually taking fluid from this entire area, from the upper cheek, and you're pushing it towards this lacrimal gland and this lacrimal duct. Look really, really closely at your eyes. Do you see on the inside how you have a little hole there? That's literally called the lacrimal punctum. You literally have a hole in your eye. If you didn't know, now you know. But whenever you cry, do you notice that like your nose starts snotting up? That's because your tears can actually kind of get into this area. And when draining fluid from the face, a lot of people push from the inside out. Even I used to do that. But one of the most effective things you can do is push from the outside in because that way you're actually taking that fluid. You're kind of walking it down this zygomatic process, this cheekbone, and you're pushing it into this area where it can actually actually drain in that eye area. And doing that with the radio frequency and with the microcurrents of electricity are fabulous for me. Now, here's the thing, you can make this really strong. And with a lot of other microcurrent devices, I normally go on five, like the new face, I just go on five because otherwise I don't really see the benefits. With this, with the EMS, this is intense. It's 15 watts and um, it's basically shooting electricity into your skin and tightening the muscles.
tools, which, you know, the new face and other tools do. But on top of that, this is radio frequency. Radio frequency is basically taking radio waves that heat up the skin and it's heating up the skin to about 40 degrees Celsius. So really hot. Now, what that does is actually causes the skin to be like, oh my gosh, we're being damaged. That tells your skin, hey, we need to get all of our skin cells, our little helpers to this area. And that's how your skin actually recruits your immune system to start doing work and remodeling in this deep skin area. So again, instead of like an eye cream that goes on top of the skin, we're actually going to the deeper layers of the skin and trying to get it to be stimulated to create new collagen and elastin. And radio frequency is used professionally in clinic. It's used all over the face. It is used for the eyes. There's actually some medical studies showing that for under eye discoloration, as well as for fine lines and wrinkles, it can be fantastic. But anecdotally, I've also noticed it's phenomenal for under eye puffiness and fluid retention. And again, because I have these large fat pads, there's some studies showing that radio frequency can actually help with adipose tissue and breaking it down. Um, and if I can do that in this area, and as long as I don't have thin skin and hollowed out areas, that for me is fantastic because my eye structure naturally has a little bit more puffiness to it. Now, when it comes to radio frequency, I think it's a fantastic unique that is really underutilized and it can be done effectively at home. Again, this one that I'm I'm currently using is from Amaro. I'm trying to think of what other radio frequencies I've used. I like the N1. And again, the new face is microcurrent, which is different, but none of them really have all of them in one. And listen, when I am crying, when I am struggling, I'm not using 10 different facial devices. I am using one. <laughs> if I'm even lucky enough to do my skincare, because sometimes I have to rely on freaking micellar water and a makeup wipe. Okay, like it's been bad, but I've been getting out of it and depuffing my face. So the way that I actually do this is again, starting from the outer corner and going into the inner corner. And then I actually kind of coax it from the inner corner uh, to the outer on top of the eyelid. Now with the electrical muscle stimulation, kind of the EMS here, I do have to be a little bit careful. And again, I have to turn it all the way down. Whereas on the other devices, I just go number five. And I kind of follow that circular muscle of the eye. And I'm basically just massaging it and really helping drain that fluid. Now, because this has the light therapy and because this also has the radio frequency, I also hold it right here on the outside of the eye where I am struggling with those crow's feet. And over time, research has showed that this can help decrease the crow's feet and to help remodel the skin, basically creating new, stronger, thicker skin and collagen. I actually noticed the depuffing almost immediately because of that mechanical pressure. And here's the thing about Amaro Beauty is that they actually started off not as really a beauty company, but as a technology company, they are basically tech meets beauty. And they started with a mirror that actually got rid of shadows so that when people were applying makeup, they could see things clearly on their face. And I've actually tried some of their other devices before as well, such as this one, which I liked. Uh, look, it's reflective. So fun. This one is great, but I have not found something better than the R3 Turbo. I really like that it does have the different settings. And I like that it has multiple technologies combined in one. When you actually turn it on, you can kind of see into it and you see it has these six probes instead of just two or three. And this is something that can be done safely and effectively at home. It is not the same as laser. There have been some medical studies saying that laser can be a little bit more effective, but again, you have to get laser done in clinic. Radio frequency is really good when done in clinic, especially when combined with microneedling, but it is safe to use at home. Here's the thing is that when they were looking at laser, they specifically know that laser is intense light. Basically, it's a beam of light and it can scatter and it can actually cause other issues around the skin. And one medical study looking at basically under eye pigmentation and darkness in this peri orbital or around the eye area, they noted that radio frequency doesn't have that same scattering effect that laser does. And so this study was specifically saying that radio frequency can be great for the eye area. I would say that I use the eye mode more than anything else on this. Other than that, I do use the V mode just for this area. If like my entire face is puffy, if you're a side sleeper or a face sleeper, you know how puffy your face can get. But if you're a crier, man, I did not realize that like literally my eyelids could absorb tears. Look at these images. Like, sorry. Sorry. It's and this is what gets me ready for the day. When doing this around the eyes, I find that I can just do it with an under eye patch or kind of on its own. They do sell a gel that works well. I like the gel, but I would say get this as part of the set. They have this pretty purple holiday set that I'm playing around with. And then this gel actually has ceramides in it. So it is really nourishing to the skin. They recommend putting the gel on the skin, using it and rinsing it off. But I look at the ingredients. I really like a lot of them. There's some flower water in here. There's some ceramides, there's panthenol. And I just like to leave this on the skin. But if you didn't want to 
use this, you could use another gel. Again, because this does have that EMS, that electrical muscle stimulation, you just want something that can conduct that electricity if you're using the EMS in this. And again, normally I need to turn my devices up to five. With this one, I'm happy with like one, maybe two. This is, this is intense. Like you can literally see my eye twitching. You can see my face twitching. I kind of love it. I will be playing around with this holiday box a little bit more and testing out the gel. I need to look into this a little bit more and I've actually gifted one of these to a friend. And again, I have tried some of the other devices too. Because they're a beauty tech company, they have quite the lineup of beauty devices. I've seen a lot of doctors and derms and other people online talking about this one. But if there is another device you'd like me to try, listen, if it helps with under eye puffiness and facial puffiness, and if as a bonus, it can tighten up the skin with fine lines and wrinkles, I'm in. I will buy it and try it and spend my money on it so that you don't have to. But this has been fantastic for me. I've been loving this. I've been using this. And here's kind of the results that I've seen so far. I plan to continue using this because again, it's kind of like a three in one. It's replaced a lot of other things in my routine. But if you are interested in getting this for yourself or for the holidays, I've left all of the details right here just so that you have that available. Whenever you can get beauty on sale, get it on sale. But if you're someone who gets stressed out during the holidays and you need self-care in an efficient way, this is something that for me is kind of a three in one. It's a USB type C charger as well. So I can easily charge it on the go and it's purple, which is just vanity, but it makes me happier about it. And then the fact that it actually has 15 watts, it actually has the technology in there. I've been very, very impressed with this recently. And you know, my Metacube device is what I used to use for EMS. And granted that is for the body, but still it's like the Metacube device. Then I would use like the new face or the zip for the microcurrent, right? And then I would use the Nebulift for the radio frequency, but that's like three. And especially when I'm traveling or crying or just can't get out of bed, if it's just one, this is the technique I use to depuff so that I can get up and out and on my way. Let me know what questions you have about radio frequency or if you even want a difference between the at-home devices and the clinical ones. Let me know what questions you have or if you have under eye puffy, God, if you have facial puffy suggestions, I am ready to try just about anything. But overall, do remember to stay hydrated both orally and topically. Make sure to reapply your SPF and overall be beautiful both inside and out. I love you and I can't wait to see you pretty much in the comments super soon. Love you guys. Bye.